now we're not going from 0 to 2 pi because our input now is time. We are stretching this from 0 to 3. We're going to go, we still want to break it into fourths, but there we go, three seconds. So we get 1.5, 0 0.75, and 2.25. We're still going from 0 0.5 to 4, and we're starting at the 2.5, where our baseline is at 2.5. So 0, 4, or 2.5, 4.5, 2.5, 0.5, 2 2.5, and so on. And there's our graph. So what we covered in this question was what is called the period. Period is the time for one full revolution, or it can be the angle measure of one full revolution. Basically, it's what interval of input does it take before we start repeating ourselves. In this case, our period is 3. The way you determine the period is to look at the coefficient on your input and period always equals, we'll say that's the variable and this will make sense a little bit later at the end of these videos but period is always 2 pi divided by that angular speed b so in this case the period is 2 pi divided by 2 pi over 3 which is the same as 2 pi times 3 over 2 pi. 2 pi is cancel, leaving us with 3. It takes us 3 seconds to complete one full rotation. Okay, last way we're going to fiddle with this function. And this is going to be the horizontal shift.